Welcome back to my channel, I'm James, and today we're going to be discussing and testing out a brand new 4K restoration of a western that really is one of those thought-provoking movies that after you see it, you really can't forget about it. So I'm excited to announce we're going to deep dive into the proposition on 4K Ultra HD. And I do want to start off by saying big shout out to BFI, the British Film Institute, for sending this to me for review. Now as always, no matter what's sent to me from any studio for review, it never affects my testing or my review score. So all the exclusive testing and screenshot comparisons and everything that I go through on this never is affected just because something's sent to me for review. Now we're going to be diving into this. I'm going to do, like I talked about, my testing on this, my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons, talk about my thoughts on the film, show you what comes in this limited edition box set. And then at the end, I'm going to wrap it up with my review score as I always do to let you know how this compares to the quality of hundreds of other 4K Ultra HD sets that I've reviewed here on this YouTube channel. So that's something I always do exclusively at the end of every single review. Now to start off, we're going to be comparing this to the original Blu-ray release that I own up above. Now, that Blu-ray release was really, really poor, and it's kind of unfair because they didn't have to do too much, though I will say when we get to this, you'll see what they actually did. But uh, with that original Blu-ray release, it was one of the worst Blu-ray releases that I'd watched overall. Just image quality, picture, it had banding, it had blocking, it had some scenes that were really blurry, and overall it was really, really, really yellowed, orangey, browned out that way too much was done in that Blu-ray release that just in my opinion gave it an overall poor picture. Well, in comparison to this 4K Ultra HD, BFI spent a ton of time working with the original director to do the actual color grading and this brand new 4K restoration. And I can tell you, as you probably noticed from that screenshot comparison above, it is night and day better looking than the original Blu-ray release ever was. I was really surprised how much they were able to pull out of this brand new 4K restoration because there's a lot of things that I thought were just kind of inherent to how it was filmed. I thought maybe they just kind of inherently filmed it with kind of a kind of hazy or blurry filter over it in the first place or that maybe it was on purpose just so orangey yellowed out that that was on purpose. Well, it seems to be that that wasn't originally the intention. Well, now with this brand new 4K restoration, we can see this at the best it's ever looked. And I'm not gonna say the complete yellowish or oranginess is completely gone. It's not, it's just, it's not so heavy like it was in that blue right where Honestly, it looked like they all had maybe jaundice or something in it. And honestly, there were some scenes that didn't look that bad, but overall, everybody kind of looked jaundiced in it. Well, in this, it actually looks more natural. Yes, it still has the Western look to it, kind of like a almost Western-y appearance to a lot of the film. And I really did enjoy that. And it retains that portion of it, but it's not so heavy. And so just kind of, in my opinion, ugly looking like it was in the Blu-ray release before. Now, on this new 4K restoration, they went back and did new color grading. It also has Dolby Vision and HDR10, which I'm going to touch on that here for a second. As I've talked about hundreds of times in reviews here on this YouTube channel, the screenshot comparisons you see up here are standard HDR. So, because YouTube's algorithm only allows standard HDR, that's what you're going to see in those screenshots above. But, when you watch that on your home TV, you'll be getting it in Dolby Vision or HDR10, depending on which technology your 4K player and TV allows, but I will say the Dolby Vision on this was just slightly a one up over the HDR10 presentation. So I did like them both. The HDR10 still looked great. It did look great overall, but the Dolby Vision I did think just looked slightly better in this release. Sometimes that's not the case, but in this one it was. Now, if you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. As you've noticed above with these screenshot comparisons, that's something I do exclusively on this channel. All the testing, the data on the screenshot comparisons that I do here, I get all the information off the discs and that's how I'm able to present all of this exclusive content. So make sure if you're not subscribed yet, go down there and hit that subscribe button. And everyone that's watching this video, make sure to also give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to go down and give this video a like and a thumbs up. Now talking about this 4K, it is a native 4K 2160p and it is in its original aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1 and that native 4K looks stunning compared to that Blu-ray release. And I know I'm going to say that a lot through this review, but man, compared to that Blu-ray when I was going side by side as you're seeing up above, and these don't even do it 100% justice because that Dolby Vision and HDR10, those color gradings and those coming across even so much more than standard HDR, 
Man, does it look outstanding skin tones, flesh. I mean, to be honest with you, this is one of those movies that I'll kind of talk about here for a second about kind of my thoughts on the movie here. This is a Western that's very violent, very gritty. It's got some brutal scenes in it. It's a very down to earth, in my opinion, realistic Western. Now it does take place in Australia, so it's an Australian Western, but still the same thing applies. It is not a John Wayne Western. And what I mean by that is, the story basically takes place. Ray Winstone's character who presents the law basically says, you know, we've got your younger brother. We'll basically let him go if you track down your older brother who is basically the worst of the family, has done horrible things and is a criminal, and basically you deal with him. So that's where the proposition, the name of the movie comes from. It's a proposition Ray Winstone gives to Guy Pearce's character. Well, there's a lot of things that happen along the way, and I will say it is probably one of the dirtiest Westerns I've ever seen. And I'm gonna address that here because you're probably thinking, man, it must be pretty crass and dirty. That's not what I mean by that. I'm meaning realistically dirty, okay? I'm gonna show a screenshot up above here um, of the 4K and the Blu-ray here, and it's a scene of basically some of the characters in the movie having flies on them. And there's a ton of flies in this movie. I mean, it just kind of shows realistically what it was like living out in the outback in Australia during that time period. And I loved it for that because the realism in it, and that's just kind of one of the things I drastically noticed is how dirty the characters are. I mean, their skin's dirty, their faces are dirty, their lips are cracked, um, their clothes are dirty, the towns are dirty, and heck is there a lot of flies. Holy cow, if you see that picture above, the flies were ridiculous. And that picture I thought was such a good one to show this off because when you see that in the movie, you're like, kind of makes your skin crawl a little bit, but that's the way they lived. And I loved that they added that sense of realism to this movie. And that's why I said it's not a John Wayne type of Western in sense of John Wayne Westerns were very kind of clean clothes. I'm not saying some of his weren't more with their clothes dirty, but a lot of the times John Wayne had on nice bright colored clothes or clean clothes or pressed clothes. And a lot of the characters did. Saddles were clean, horses were clean. That is not the way it is in this Western. It shows that a lot of the times people didn't have money to clean their horses and they were filthy and their saddles were filthy and their clothes were just downright disgusting and their hair was disgusting. And I thought that that added a really great element to the Western genre. And that is why I think the proposition with its story and everything, and I won't give it all away, but it does have some shocking and brutal story beats. And that's where I said this adds to the violence and realism of the movie. So don't go into this expecting this to be some lighthearted Western. It's not. It is violent. It is not for kids. It's rated R. It has a ton of violence. It does have some language in it. And it will surprise you some of the things that happen. But overall, it does have such a tone to it that when you get done watching the film, it'll stick with you for a very long time. Um, it's one of those Westerns I've thought about for many, many years. So I was excited when BFI announced that they were going to do a 4K restoration with the director and things like that. And it looks outstanding. The work they've done on this is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I think it looks so much better than that Blu-ray. That that Blu-ray that I have, I got rid of, I, it doesn't even compare. I'll never watch that again. This looks so much better. Now this does have an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix. That's the audio mix on this. That's the one I enjoyed. It sounded great, crisp, clear. You could hear the horses' hooves when they're out in the desert. Just overall sounded great. There is another audio mix on it, which is an English PCM 2.0 stereo. I didn't really like that one. I thought it was too low. I just didn't enjoy that one at all. In my opinion, the DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, that's the one you need to watch this film in. Subtitle wise, this does have English subtitles, but only English subtitles. So no matter where you live worldwide, it's all English audio and English subtitles on this release. Now for this box set, I will have the link for this as always listed in the description section right below this video and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. So if after watching my review and seeing my review score, you decide you wanna pick this up and add this to your collection, the exact links for this set will be listed in the description section below. So no matter whether you live in the UK, the US, or anywhere worldwide, when you click on that link below, it will direct you through Amazon to the link for your country. So I've made it nice and easy for all of you worldwide. You click through that link, it does help to support this YouTube channel just a tiny bit. So make sure if you're gonna pick up this and add it to your collection after watching my review, make sure to go down and click through one of those links below. It'll send you directly to the Amazon of your country. That way it does help support this YouTube channel just a little bit. Now talking about this limited edition box set, I will tell you I love limited edition box sets. As all of you know that have watched this YouTube channel for a while, just like with my Arrow video reviews and things like that. Well, I've got some exciting news. 
This box set is the exact same size as like the Robocop and True Romance box sets from Arrow Video. And to be honest with you, I almost wonder if BFI actually has this printed by the exact same distributor that Arrow Video uses because it smells identical printing wise. That smell I like is in this box set. So that's a little hidden tidbit. I was excited about that. Now, the box set, like I said, does come in a nice hard box set. I really like it. It says The Proposition, John Hillcote, the director, BFI on it. Then on the back, it talks about special features. There was a bunch of new special features commissioned for this release. Um, it does say it's got Dolby Vision, HDR10. Talks about that John Hillcote um, was involved with basically the restoration in this, making sure it was approved by the director and everything. And then it talks about a bunch of the special features on here. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I will tell you there's tons of behind the scenes. They included all the special features from the DVDs and all the special features from the previous Blu-ray releases are included in this plus a bunch of new ones that were commissioned for this release. So you really have a huge plethora of special features to choose from and dive into from all the previous editions of the proposition. So there's really nothing missing that you're ever gonna miss out on watching special feature wise. Now runtime on the proposition is 104 minutes and it's a very slick and fast paced Western film. So it never leaves things hanging. You really keeps moving along the entire time. Now in your 4K Ultra HD case, same kind of artwork that was on that entire front case. Now the only thing I will say about this release versus like what Arrow Video does with their limited edition sets, the artwork is not reversible. Now when you get inside here, you do have your Blu-ray disc, which is region B locked, and it is a BD50. I tested it out on every single player I have, which I have seven of them. My region A, my region B, my region C, and my multi-region. Didn't matter, it had to be on a region free player or region B to be able to be played. That is it. So if you live in the US and you're gonna buy this, keep in mind, the Blu-ray disc is the only disc you won't be able to play because on the 4K Ultra HD disc that's on the back here, that disc is region free. And I do have some good news. It's on a BD100. When I tested it, it is a BD100. So I love when they use BD100s. And a bunch of the special features, commentaries, the new restoration trailer, that's included on the 4K Ultra HD. So you're not missing out on everything if you don't get to watch the Blu-ray disc um, because there is a bunch of the special features on the actual 4K Ultra HD disc. Though, the majority of the rest of them are on that Blu-ray. So it is one of those things, if you don't have a region free player and you live in the US, now if you live in the UK, obviously, and you're watching this, just like my worldwide audience, good news is obviously it's gonna play for you, no issues anyways. But those in other parts or regions of the world that wanna watch this, um, you will be able to access the region free 4K, no problem, but you'll need a multi-region or region free player to play the first Blu-ray disc. Now, I have talked about this on this YouTube channel. If you wanna check out some of those videos, I've talked about region free, how to be region free for everybody worldwide. And I have like three or four videos on this YouTube channel that go in depth about what you need to know about how to become region free and some of the region free players I personally own so I can get things from all over the world. Um, so if you wanna check those out after you get done watching this, those are available on my YouTube channel as well. Now, one of my favorite things in this limited edition box set is this big 80 page booklet. And this is where I said that I feel like they're using the same manufacturer as Arrow Video because it smells identical. The ink, the printing, the paper, everything about this set is very similar to those Arrow Video limited edition sets, which is why I really, really was excited about this when BFI sent this for review. Well, it's a huge, thick 80 page behind the scenes booklet. It talks with the director and behind the scenes, tons of photos in it. Overall, it is one of the best books I've read through. And I completely enjoyed this and thought it was phenomenal. 80 pages of a book, and we're not talking a tiny booklet. I mean, this is an actual book that's in there. So bravo BFI, this is a great job with this limited edition set. And I'm gonna to touch on something else here real quick. They are going to be releasing Get Carter with a brand new 4K restoration on 4K Ultra HD in another one of these limited edition sets. And I am hoping to get that in early for review as well from BFI. So that's another one to look forward to here coming up here in the next couple of months on my YouTube channel here. So another reason if you're not subscribed yet to go down and make sure you hit that subscribe button. But I hope to be working with BFI a lot here in the future and their releases that they're coming out on 4K Ultra HDs and things to do these for all of you, my worldwide audience. So that way you know the quality behind these. But so far they're doing a great job with these releases and I'm looking forward to diving in to get Carter as well. Now, if you haven't heard about that one, make sure to comment below and let me know if you're excited about that release that's gonna be coming out as well. Last thing we get in this box set is these big posters. And again, 
Like I said, I do think these are done by the same company, but you get the original artwork and then you get the newly commissioned artwork on it, reversible, just like the Arrow Video Limited Editions. Same feel to it, it's very thick. Now put all back together, this limited edition set by BFI really is just an outstanding value what they provided. I mean, the price point for this, I couldn't believe the price point they released this at. I mean, I think you're looking to write around 35, 40 bucks for a limited edition set and everything you get in this. What a great price point they've got for this. Now, like I said, this movie will make you look differently at the Old West. And it does dive more into showing how close justice and revenge can really come. It is one of those performances by Guy Pierce and Ray Winstone that I thought was absolutely phenomenal and outstanding. They did an absolutely wonderful job with their characters, showing the multifaceted sides of them. And I just think it's one of those movies you gotta see to experience, that when you get done, you really will not be able to forget the film. It is one of those films that just sticks with you for a long time. Now, for this entire release, the 4K restoration, the HDR10, the Dolby Vision, everything I covered in this, the drastic difference in what you're seeing in that 4K versus that Blu-ray, this release for my review score gets an outstanding 9.7. BFI did a phenomenal job. There was no issues with big grain fluctuations. There was no issues with banding. There was no issues with any of the dark scenes being too overly dark, but still giving that inky black areas with the Dolby Vision and HDR10. I said the audio, there was no audio lag issues played perfectly fine and was just a gorgeous presentation overall. Now, even though the film is kind of a dirty film, like I was explaining because of the dirt and flies and things like that, man, you can see so much detail with this 4K restoration that that Blu-ray looks just like one of the poorest Blu-rays I think I've seen. In a difference between a 4K and a Blu-ray, I mean, this 4K restoration is just absolutely outstanding. This is a must buy that you need to add to your collection. Experience this Western, but understand it is brutal and you will feel it as you're watching it. There's some scenes you'll feel uncomfortable in, but that is the point is to show what it was really like and not some of these lighthearted Westerns, which I love lighthearted Westerns, but sometimes it is nice to see the realistic side of it. And John Hellcoat did a great job directing this film. This is one of those must buys. 9.7, this 4K Ultra HD set is a limited edition set though. So if you're planning on picking this up, just like with those Arrow video releases, make sure to go down to the description section below. I put the links right down there or as a pinned comment and order your copy as soon as possible because what happens with these limited edition sets? Once they sell out of them, they don't print anymore. So once they're gone, they're gone. And this is one of those 4K Ultra HD sets you're gonna to wanna to own, show off the gorgeous presentation and actually enjoy this film because this one would look awesome next to your Arrow video releases. And I said, what BFI is doing here, I am really excited for what they have coming up next. I mean, that Get Carter, I love Get Carter anyways. I'm excited to see what they do with this next limited edition set that they're releasing for Get Carter. But I do understand in that Get Carter, they are gonna do like the postcards along with the poster, the book, and the case. So again, they're stepping up their game here to make it even more so just like those Arrow Video Limited Editions, and I absolutely love those. If you enjoyed this review and you enjoy this content that I create here on my YouTube channel, make sure to go down and give a super thanks tip or a donation through the PayPal donate link below. That super thanks and that donation link is just like giving a tip for all the hard work that I do here on this YouTube channel. Just like when you go to a restaurant and you give a tip for their hard work there. It's the same thing. I'm not sponsored or paid by anybody and the only way I can continue to produce and create all these videos for all of you to watch here on my YouTube channel is through the support of all of you, my viewers and subscribers. So make sure if you enjoyed this video to give a super thanks or a donation through the PayPal donate link below. That goes straight back into this YouTube channel and that is the only way I can keep creating all these 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons and paying for all the software to get all the data off of these discs and to exclusively test all of these for all of you here on my YouTube channel. So please make sure to give a super thanks or a donation down below. Also, if you're gonna pick this up, make sure to use the links that I posted down in the description section below. They take you straight out to Amazon and I've made that nice and easy for you. Don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And let me know in the comment section below if you've seen this movie, what your thoughts are on the movie if you've seen it. So make sure to start that conversation in the comment section below. Let me know if you're excited to pick this up after watching my review. And if this is something that you're excited to dive into and see this new 4K restoration. 
Let me know too if you're excited about Get Carter, if you're excited to see my review with my exclusive comparisons and testing on that. I'm curious if a lot of you knew that that was even coming out. That's something that I was wanting to let all of you know once I knew about it, but that is something that I'll be getting in here to do all my testing and review for all of you here on my YouTube channel. I had a great time with this one today. I was so excited for this limited edition set. When I get these limited edition sets and I always hope they live up to a lot of what I'm expecting from them. This one really did. That 9.7 was well deserved and well earned. I hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.